Hey everybody, welcome to the channel today. I'm Josh Soholt and today we're going to be making some burgers and some kind of laced up burgers that can even have maybe a critic of wild game typically kind of jump on board and enjoy this. So first we're just going to start out here with a pound and a half to two pounds of burger. I'm doing about a pound and a half here for my family. And the next step we're going to do is just throw in a packet of the onion soup mix from Lipton's. You know, oftentimes we use this in a slow cooker with Cooking Wild Game, but today I'm just going to dump one packet of that right on top of the burger. The other element that I add to it is about a third cup of Parmesan cheese. And the nice thing about Parmesan cheese is it has a really high melting point, and the actual strands of the cheese tend to hold together. So even on the grill, you don't end up just melting the cheese right through the burger as you cook it kind of stays in there and gives it that little bite. After that, you know, just mix it up really, really well so you have a nice even uh, dispersal of all those ingredients all throughout the burger. This is deer burger that I cut with 10% beef suet um, earlier this year and came out really nice. I did it with a fine uh, grind. I used to do a coarse grind, but it turns out my uh, my family and myself kind of prefer the fine grind in our burger and sausage. All right, that looks about right. And then the next step with this is to make your patties. So one thing I would suggest when you make your patties is to make your patties a little bit thinner than you, than you think you should. Half, three quarters of an inch, something like that. Just kind of mash them down so they're relatively thin. This will really help the overall texture and taste of the burger as you cook it. I'm just gonna grab a little bit of this with my hand here. Get it into a relative shape and then just kind of really just press it down and get it down into somewhere in the neighborhood of a half inch. You can make them a little bit wider than you think you should. They will spread out or will uh, shrink up a little bit as you grill them. And there we have it, six nicely formed patties that will uh, work out pretty well for, for my family. So uh, after this step, what I kind of like to do is just find a plate, whatever you're gonna use, and just throw them in the fridge for about an hour. Just let that seasoning sort of soak into that meat, let everything kind of get situated in there. And then after an hour, you can pull them out and get them on the grill. So we'll do that now. All right, so after you pull them out of the fridge and are ready to get them cooked, uh, what I'm doing today is I'm actually using a birch barrel to cook the burgers. You can use any type of grill to do this. What I would suggest, however, is whatever grill you use, go to the highest setting that's capable on the grill. What you want is a really nice sear on the outside to seal in as many of the juices as you can in the interior of the burger. Cook them out about as fast as you can to what you figure is, you know, at most a medium cook. You're gonna end up cooking the burgers three to five minutes per side. And if you would like to have cheese placed on the top of the burger when you eat it, Go ahead and do that right after you make the flip. Once they're done, throw them on a bun, put on your favorite fixings and enjoy. Couple them with some homemade French fries and it really is something your whole family should enjoy. Thanks for following along today with Public Land Meat Company and be sure to subscribe to our channel. We're gonna be sharing all kinds of recipes and also tips and tricks for processing and breaking your animal down in the field. So hope you're having a great day and we'll see you next time.